You hear about markets all of the time, in the news, when buying a house, and when you go to the local market to buy fruits and vegetables. But what is a market? A market is any situation in which goods or services are bought and sold by buyers and sellers. This could be in a physical place, such as a fruit and vegetable market, a livestock auction, or it could be in a virtual space, such as an online store or the stock exchange. Markets develop when there is a seller wanting to supply a good or service and a buyer willing to purchase it. The price of a good or service is the rate at which it is bought or sold in the market. Markets interrelate along the value chain. For example, agricultural input markets and wholesale and retail product markets. Agricultural input markets link farmers and input suppliers. They include markets for livestock feed, seed, fertilizer, pesticide, machinery and equipment, as well as hired labor. In some places, like here in Australia, there are even markets for water. Wholesale markets are characterized by buyers who purchase large quantities of undifferentiated agricultural products to distribute and sell to retailers. Retail markets link farms and wholesalers with end users, such as consumers. Examples of retail markets include supermarkets and farmers markets. Agricultural and food products are sold in both traditional and modern markets. For example, if you live in Jakarta, Indonesia, you can buy your groceries at Food Hall, a modern supermarket chain, or you can go to Pasar Minggu, a traditional market. So what are the differences? Food Hall's purchase department ensures that both the quality and the quantity of products meet Food Hall standards. Modern procurement systems for supermarkets such as Food Hall require sophisticated technology to maintain quality. For example, by controlling temperature throughout storage and transportation. Modern markets are also characterized by stringent quality grades and safety standards. Prices in modern markets are generally fixed, essentially non-negotiable. Traditional markets, on the other hand, are generally more open and less regulated, like most wet markets throughout Asia. For example, Pasar Minggu in Jakarta is a vibrant wet market, yet it doesn't have modern procurement systems. In traditional markets like this, the costs of goods or services are negotiated on the spot between the buyer and the seller directly. There are usually minimal quality or safety standards. Sometimes, but not always, prices of food products in modern retails are higher than traditional outlets. This is largely due to quality differences. There are two main components to any market, traditional or modern. There is the demand side and the supply side. We'll go into demand and supply in more detail later. But briefly, the demand side is made up of consumers or customers the end users of the products and services. The supply side is made up of producers, traders, wholesalers, processors, and retailers. Now you'll learn about what makes agri-food markets different from other markets.